Welcome to 100bits.com. In this video, we are going to see how to achieve a certificate based authentication in a weblog server. Uh, as a prerequisite for this tutorial, you need a weblog server has to be up and running, and a weblog server has to be configured for a two way SSL communication. So, there is already a video posted in this weblog series uh, explains like how to configure two way SSL in a weblog server. Once the weblog server is configured for two way SSL, we can tune it to have a certificate based authentication. <coughs> What is certificate based authentication? Certificate based authentication means presenting a trusted certificate uh, where the where the subject of the certificate should match the roles which were which we are configured in a weblog server. But few of them are thinking like just presenting a trusted certificate is enough to uh, enough to satisfy the certificate based authentication. That is not the case. I will explain you with a diagram and a practically. Let's assume this is a certificate authority, okay, and this is a weblogic server where this weblog server trusts the certificate authority okay and in the weblog server uh, a certificate authentication is uh, configured for an application uh, for the user y okay uh, where we have another user x okay so he also uh, got the certificate from the same certificate authority same certificate authority so here the if you if you are thinking like the certificate the authentication is just presenting the trusted certificate to the server means then this certificate this certificate has to succeed okay but that is not the case it should not succeed because the the configuration is done for the certificate for the user y and not for the user x we will see it in a practical how to achieve this before that, I'll show a certificate which is issued by a certificate authority uh, where the weblog server uh, trusts. So this is my certificate. Okay, in the details, if you see, issuer is 100 bytes admin and for the subject is 100 bytes client. Please note down this, the CN equal to 100 bytes client. So we are going to configure the weblog server for this user. Okay, so click OK. So this is my certificate and, and it is presented by the 100 bytes admin issue, u, issuer and this 100 bytes admin was trusted by the weblogic server. I will show that uh, application which we are going to deploy it in the weblogic server for certificate based authentication. So here uh, the main only two things are there one is index.xml, one web.xml and weblogic.xml and in web.xml uh, so for all the url patterns uh, for slash star for get and post methods we are uh, doing a security constraint uh, where for the role name is certificate user and here transport is uh, confidential because we are we are achieve we are going to communicate in ssl communication and there is a role for certificate user and uh, this is uh, this client cert has to be auth method should be client cert while in a while in earlier video uh, earlier videos we have seen a basic or uh, form based authentication but in this case it is a client cert okay and in the certificate users uh, like uh, for uh, we, we have defined in a weblogic xml the certificate uh, any, and in the security role assignment the certificate users were assigned with a user called 100 bytes client 1 but we have the certificate for the 100 bytes client so if we are thinking like the just presenting a trusted certificate is enough for certificate based authentication uh, then this 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 configuration should work but this is not going this is not going to work let's see how it is actually before deploying our application, we have to make sure that 100 bytes client user is in the server. I have already created 100 bytes client uh, user in, in our realm. So my realm, users and groups. You see this 100 bytes client user is created and it is a part of a default authenticator. In this case, uh, it can be uh, the user can be a part of an any other authenticator. That means like even, even if the user is sitting in a uh, external database or external LDAP, if the corresponding user is configured for certificate based authentication then the certificate presenting for the application must have the user uh, same as which is configured in the role we will deploy the our application install and i'm selecting my project okay install it as an application and i'm here i'm selecting a dd only that is deployment descriptor we are going to keep the deployment descriptor uh, roles and policies and click finish now the application is installed uh, let's see the security roles in for this application defined uh, secure if you click the application and you select the security 
for the URL patterns, you will see like certificate users were created uh, for 100 bytes client one. This is which is similar to this, which is the same as where we define in the deployment descriptor. Okay. Now our uh, our application is deployed. Okay. But uh, before proceeding it, we need to do some configuration in the security realms. So go to the security realms, my realm, providers, in the authentication provider, go to the default identity asserter. Uh, here only we have chosen only uh, uh, authenticated user as an asserter. We need to choose this uh, X, X509 certificate also as a part of this and save it and go to the provider specific okay uh, you might be remember that that certificate is issued, issued with an uh, like a username mapping attribute type as a cn so you have to select a cn and i'm going to select i'm going to use the default username mapper and click save so we are done but we need to restart this server i have restarted the server let's let's try to access this application in a https uh, protocol https localhost auth cert project so it should ask for the certificate yes it's asked and the browser is going to present this 100 bytes client you remember that in a deployment descriptor we have configured for 100 bytes client one click ok it should fail if you are thinking like just presenting a trusted certificate is enough that is a wrong so we will change our deployment descriptor for 100 bytes client one and redeploy the application now I have changed the deployment descriptor to have 100 bytes client uh, instead of 100 bytes client one. Let's redeploy that application. So click select update and click finish. So now see now let's see like whether the security role has updated or not. Go to security and URL patterns certificate users. You see 100 bytes client is there. Okay, now let's let's test it again. I'm accessing the URL again. Again, the certificate is asked. Now it should succeed. Yes, it succeeded. So this is the way we have to configure our configure our WebLogy server for the certificate-based authentication. Uh, for more tutorials, please visit 100bytes.com. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Thank you.